in this video i will present how to create map book uh, using data driven pages in arc map so first we open the arc map now here we add the data now here this is our uh, line feature so we change its symbology so now our second step is to create a index file so here we click on search tool and now here we write the grid index grid index feature now i click on so here we input the feature by clicking on this so now we scroll down the page here we click on this button now here we set the scale map scale so we set the map scale to 20000 so now we click on start labeling so it will create a grid of 10 rows and 3 columns now click on ok now our grid boxes are created on the shape file so now we open the attribute table so we have page number 1 to 14 14 boxes so now we change this into layout view now we right click and zoom to layer now I'll zoom to layer now we add uh, some other data for the map so here here we have three different type of data line points and polygons so we add two data lines data we change its symbology and here we have dot let's say we change into airplane so now we click uh, on and zoom to layer so here we open the attribute table and uh, click on select the first polygon and right click here we select zoom to select it so now it is zoom to the number one grid here we add the elements of maps and set the extent now we add the title any map so we click on ok so it goes to there we can change the font by clicking on change symbol and uh, font size increase we can change also the color Hold OK, apply OK. Uh, after title, now we add the north arrow. OK, now we add the north arrow to there. We can set the places of different uh, maps elements <clears throat> so now we add the scale bar select any scale bar okay 
we add the scale to Now we add the scale text. Now we add the legend. Before adding legend, we change the names. Let's say we write here airport. okay and now let's say major roads So after changing the layer's name, we insert the legend. So here we add, click on there, which we want to add into legend. So we add these three into legends. So we set the number of columns in the legend. We want one column. So next, add next. Here we change the background to any border and drop shadow gray next next and finish now our legend is created we set this legend to this so now we can add the satellite imagery base map so click on add now we wait for some time our base map is adding now our base map is added we change its symbology into hollow that's why we now our base map is visible so our next step is uh, we can add the data driven toolbar so here our already data driven page is added so so this is our data driven toolbar click here now we enable the data driven pages and uh, select the index file our index file is create index which root this one so we change to page number page number ready so set the extent so we click on here center and maintain current scale okay so now we click on file and go to ex export map now here we write the rename map here we can save into different files pdf jpeg and different native gif so we can save this file into pdf here we change the go to setting format pages here we select the all pages and in a single pdf file we can select other option but we here select single pdf and all the pages in one in a single pdf so we select all pages now we click on save so our data driven pages processes start it will take some time now our file is ready now we check our maps pdf
so we check the PDF so we have 14 total pages of map